Welcome, Wolf of Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Moss Book 2 on the PlayStation VR 2. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic dive. Now, in a previous video, we took down the Keeper and we've now unlocked a door that leads to a brand new realm that contains the third glass that Quill needs to collect. But Quill is kind of having second thoughts about whether she should trust Adur in the staffing or whether she should go back to her uncle and let him know that the Sprite army doesn't want to join our cause and that Adurin is trying to lead her towards a third glass. So she's having a bit of a uh, bit of a battle in her brain at the moment, not sure what to do, but we're going to head towards the door now where the third glass is and find out what decision Quill is going to make. But Adurin has seemed very suspicious ever since we played the first game. He always seems like he's a bit of a troublemaker, doesn't he? So I guess we'll find out. Okay, uh, whilst we're in this area, actually, I think, yep, we can get ourselves another fragment. But we also found the rest of the fragments in the previous video that lead, that are uh, in the area with the conservatory. So if you're missing any of the fragments for the conservatory, uh, watch part three and part four of this playthrough, and I'm pretty sure I showed where all of the fragments are. Well, I know I showed where all of the fragments are. I'm not pretty sure, I'm positive, because <laughs> I flipping uh, checked the uh, chapter select at the end of the previous video. All right, let me just quickly grab this. This should be our fifth fragment inside the throne room. There you go. But if you have a look at the windows, you'll know if you found it. See? <laughs> you'll know because the fragments appear on the windows. And whenever you also go back to the books where you listen to more of the story, you also uh, see the little uh, pictures at the side. So you know, you know if you're missing any. Or you can just press options and go on chapter select and have a look to see if you've missed any. Lovely jubbly. All right, let's follow a Durin. But it looks like it's a snowy area that we're going to be going to. So, about the glass. Let me handle all this. She doesn't take kindly to strangers. Nor anyone, really. Better for me to set the stage. Who doesn't take kindly to strangers? You never told me that we were going to be meeting anybody. I thought we were just going there to actually collect it. Do I have to open the door? Yes, I do. No time to waste. I'll meet you on the mountainside. What are you thinking, Quill? Quill stopped. Something didn't seem right. It was like the toad said. There was far more going on than she understood. She'd be empty-handed. But Quill knew she had to return to the chamber to talk with her uncle before going any farther. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Quill. A very good idea. But before we go back and speak to your uncle, let's quickly use our new ability to grab this fragment over here. There's also a couple of pots under there as well. There we go, lovely jubbly. Oh, also, if you want to get yourself another cheeky trophy, if you turn around and you attempt to open a door over here. Yep, <laughs> there you go, a realm grown complacent. Just a random trophy for trying to go through a door to another realm that you can't even go to because it's boarded up. <laughs> oh, lovely. Okay, right. We done everything around here? Yes. Oh, damn it. It don't quill. Oh, look, no, oh. That must be uh, Talon, or what his name is, Tyrant. No. 
Oh, you horrible owl. Oh, no, I, mean, I can't do anything, Quill. I don't know if you were asking me to, but... Oh, that, that, that's horrible. Look at that. Oh. Hey, I don't know what's happening, Quill. I really don't like that bit. I'm so very sorry, Reader. We've never seen a bond as strong as the one between you and Quill. And seeing it broken breaks us all. But you're still here, Reader. And you're our last hope. With the Owl Tylen now in possession of poor Glass, there's only one left that evades him. Should he claim it, the world as we know it will end. Okay, I need to start a different book now. I really don't like that bit, man. I don't like that bit when Quill is laying there over ears, Dan, just crying its eyes. The fate of Moss now lies in a tale that has turned quite cold to its readers. But it's here where the last glass resides. Okay. So this is basically the final glass. The one that Adurin was trying to lead me to before I came back to speak to my uncle. So this is the last glass that's in the world now. Because Tylen has the other four. Long ago, a single creature held all five glass. And their reader became a god. You see, a reader with one glass can be a part of the story. But a reader with all five glass unlocks the means to rewrite the books of Moss. To author fate itself. And this reader had hate in their heart. Twofold became torched. The poor creature's will lost to the reader's own. And the world of Moss suffered a great unmaking. Yeah, you can see the evil reader in the sky up there in the book. And I guess this was maybe the, uh, the creature that was working with him when he had just one glass. Like me and Quill, because I only exist because Quill had one glass when she left the clearing that her uncle gave to her, I think. But the good creatures of Moss united together seized the glass and cast its omnipotent reader from their world forever. That any mortal survived that time was nothing short of a miracle. As time passed, champions rose and fell. Peace, however fragile, didn't come until the truce. The glass was divided between five realms, each vowing never to combine it again. But stories retold tend to fade with age, and history too often repeats. 
Yeah, this is why Vader really, really was angry when Quill arrived asking for her help and she had combined two of the glasses together. That's why Farseer Vader was very against helping us. Which brings us to the Owl Tylan, who thought himself wise beyond all the creatures of Moss. Forsaken by his own for this hubris, Tylan found kinship with another outcast, a meddling starling named Adurin. Ugh. Like all starlings, Adurin was immortal. But he loved the mess of mortality. How in their blink of life, mortals needed one another. So, anxious to impress his new friend, he helped Tylan steal his first glass from a realm grown complacent. I knew you was a troublemaker. Mind you, I guess at this point you don't know that Tylan is going to be a baddie, so I kind of understand you helping Tylan starving. Adurin. Such an act was ruled a crime among the Starthing's own, with a punishment Adurin refused to accept. He was cursed to become that which he loved most. Mortal. And in 100 years and a day, he would die his final death. Desperate, Adurin revealed to Tylan the power of the five glass combined. Adurin hoped his twofold friend could use it to undo his own damnation. Tylan hungered to hold such domain. And so they stole another, then forged an army to steal it all. God damn it, Adurin, I knew you was a little punk. Mind you. Being able to become mortal and being able to live for a hundred years and one day, that seems like a pretty good life because I don't think anybody on this planet wants to be a mortal. Why would anybody want to live forever? I mean, some people might, but I personally don't want to live forever. I think that would be horrible. So Durin should kind of be happy with his punishment, to be honest. I think it's more of a blessing. Then came the Cinder Knight. The night they would claim all five glass. But they failed, and enraged whispers befell Tylan's ears. Adurin sabotaged us several times with that cursed starving. Let him die. And the owl obeyed. Since then, Tylan has hexed and hunted every corner of Moss, and now only one glass eludes him. Lucky for us, the one who holds it hides herself well. But she vowed long ago never to answer the call of a reader. I can't say I blame her, especially after one of the readers went absolutely insane and almost destroyed the world of Moss. But you ain't gotta worry about that. I mean, I would do great things for you cute little animals. Honestly, I would. I love animals. You ain't gotta worry about me doing anything bad. Ooh. Every time. Oh, make sure you break these. That's probably the dust you might have missed in this level. In this Nothing chapter. Nothing made Sahima's weary blood boil more than the starving Adurin and his endless tricks. She tried to ignore him, but he kept rambling on about a twofold champion who'd killed the serpent Sarfog. I told you last time, if I saw you again, I'd kill you. <laughs> yeah, kill him. Do it. Ghostface? But well, where's the kid? Not again, thought Sakima. Oh! She'd been haunted by these monstrous readers her whole life. Why me? Why me? This wasn't the plan. What did she throw a ninja star at me for? What's that all about? That's a bit mean. <laughs> you can't do that, Samira. Sahima. Ghosties in the snow. Quills are no-show. But where'd the glass go? If that makes your glass the last, then 
I'll be right back. Oh, you better not be riddance. Thought Sahima as she watched the starthing buzz off. But now she needed to shake this vile reader. Yeah, but Adurin might be going to tell Tylan where the final glass is. Because he's hoping to have his curse removed. So it's not good riddance. You should have put him back in the pot and cooked him. I guess you've already guessed that we are going to be controlling Samira. It was no use. There was no escaping this one. Yeah. You're not welcome here, reader. I work alone. Oh no, I can't really watch this because my light box is going to get angry with me and bring up error messages. Chills spread down Sahima's spine. Pylon and the Arcane were tearing Moss apart. Oh man, look at that. Holy shit. It reminded her of the Cinder Knight. Maybe worse. There would be no hiding. They'd be coming for her soon enough. She had to fight. Even if that meant playing into this reader's hands. You don't have to worry, Samira. I'm a good guy. Okay, uh, one thing you want to do when you start controlling Samira, if you've missed any of the uh, relic dust in this chapter, it might be inside of Samira's little camp. If you didn't break those weird pots and the, uh, and the table, then you might have missed those. But you can also come back down here, which you might not know you can do, and you can collect those few little barrels. Obviously, I did destroy some whilst they were walking along, but you've got to destroy these ones over here. So if, you've, uh, if you are missing any stardust, it's highly likely it could be the uh, stuff over here that we're destroying right now, or the ones that I broke right in front of me. Or you have to walk all the way back across this bridge and go back to Samira's house, and you can destroy the little pots on that table, including the table as well. For some bloody reason, that, it, that has relic dust in it. Very random, and it's not something you'd normally click on. So it's a bit cheeky by Polyarch, but, you know, <laughs> they want to keep you playing, don't they? They know, they know their tactics. Cheeky devils. Oh, there you go, and there's going to be our first fragment. Lovely. Once again, there's going to be eight to collect in this chapter. I don't think we're going to make much progress in this video, purely because we spent probably about ten minutes listening to that story. So, I'll try and get as much done as I can. But we've got to look after Samira, because she has the final glass. And the reason... Oh, the reason why uh, me and Quill are no longer bonded... Is because Quill lost her glass. And you know you need to have one glass for you to have a bond with a reader. And because Quill lost both of her two glasses to Tylan, that's why I've been separated from her. And that's why I've now connected to this this uh, little mouse or raccoon or whatever she is. Chipmunk. But she doesn't like me. She really doesn't like me. <laughs> I feel like I'm back in the real world now. Someone not liking me for no reason. Just like the real world. <laughs> Oh, there's going to be... Oh, well, I can't go there now, can I? This day just keeps getting better. Sahima grumbled to herself. The arcane were closer than ever. She'd need to work fast. Those things in the distance, they shoot cannons at you. They're a bit of a pain in the butt, but you do need to interact with these guys to solve a couple of puzzles in the game. And you can call back your... When you charge, when you uh, when you charge up your uh, boomerang or your shuriken or whatever it is, you can place it in things with little marks on it, and then you can go to a different location, and then you can recall the shuriken, and it will uh, it will you can do that to solve puzzles and stuff. It's gonna be a lot of stuff we need to do with this, a lot of random puzzles and things. But in the distance over there, there will be another fragment piece. Another one of the cheeky ones that you won't notice. Because no matter where you look, I don't think you can see it. You just need to walk over there and you'll pick it up. Oh, watch out. Oh, that was beautifully done. <laughs> I was wondering if that was going to happen. I thought they were going to get out of the way. I think there's also a trophy for hitting three of these guys with your uh, shuriken at once. But I'm not sure. There might be. 
All right, I think that's that done then, yeah? Yep. <laughs> Off he goes. <laughs> but if I try to get very close to Samira, I think she doesn't like me. Watch. Let me just break that quickly. Hey, Samira. Hello. Do you want to be my friend? Okay, I think she's still in battle mode at the moment. She's not too concerned about me right now. <laughs> just walk around and you should... Uh... There you go. See, that, that's just... I mean, I suppose I suppose if you lean up, you can probably see it. But if you're not like leaning up tall, you're not standing, you probably will miss it. But there's also a trophy for getting through this entire section with Samira. And uh, there's also another fragment over here. There you go. But there's a trophy for getting through this entire section without dying. Which uh, is not too bad, but this ice can crack and you can fall through it and die. So make sure you're very careful. But you're going to get an example of the kind of puzzles that we're going to be doing now. In this section and also later sections. Hey, don't start telling me what to do, mate. Don't start being like Merlin from Hogwarts Legacy. But you basically, you do that. And then you've got to come back and stand in a different location. And see, when you recall the uh, Shuriken, boff. Just remember, you can only break those with a charged Shuriken. Hopefully it's the right word I'm using, Shuriken. They are Shurikens, isn't they? I used to call them Ninja Stars all the time, but I stopped. Because I don't know if that's right or not. <laughs> so, yeah. I think they are shrukens. If not, let me know in the comments. I'm sure somebody will correct me. People love doing that on the internet, don't they? You make any mistake, people are right in there to correct you. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing, but sometimes it's bloody annoying, ain't it? Zahima hated using this path. It was here where she promised her mother she'd protect the glass with her life. And never let a reader tempt her. A vow she intended to keep. Hey, I, I'm not here. I'm not here to cause any problems, Samira. I'm just here because, well, I need to go to somebody with glass, and you got glass, mate. That's all. That's all I can do. Uh, I will grab all of this stuff over here in a second. But first things first, we need to get this giant uh, barrel to fall down. So we've got to do some puzzles over here. There's also another fragment over here as well, behind that uh, door over there. Okay. Well, what the hell are you popping up for? I didn't even look at the light box. Man, that's twice in one video. I guess it's because I got lucky in the first video. I think it might be because the sun was out. It might be the sun causing problems too. Because I didn't shut my curtains. Oh, that bunny distracted me. Look at that cute little bunny. Oh, don't run away. Come on. Right, be very careful, Samira. Because um, I can't lift my head up too much. <laughs> Like I said in part four, though, I did try my new light boxes, but unfortunately they're not good enough, so I apologise. I did try to rectify the issue, but <sighs> unfortunately it weren't having it. They weren't bright enough. There we go. Do I need to grab it? Yes, I do. Oh, nice. Didn't have to do anything fancy for that one. Okay. Just had to reset the camera angle a little bit. I felt like I was a bit lodged in the floor. Okay, right. So, we've got to be very careful now, because I want to try and get through this section without dying. Whether it's going to happen or not, I guess we'll find out. 
Just make sure you keep jumping and don't stand in the same section for too long, otherwise you will just end up full in the pond and that counts as death, so be careful. You better have some relic dust inside of you. No. <laughs> what about you lot? No, no relic dust in any of them. That's outrageous. No, I don't think any of it had relic dust in it. That's freaking crazy. Wait a second, I could have, what, could have got myself killed doing that. Well, I suppose I had to get the fragment anyway. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. You want to make sure you get things like this, see? Because these are the ones that your character can't get to, so you need to make sure you get them. And then there's other ones up there that you can't get unless you, like, control this guy and stuff like that. There's also another fragment over here, but you can see it. Yeah, you can sort of see it floating. These guys are little turds, though. They're very annoying to defeat. Right, so we need to grab old Ibim. you got to use the uh, left stick to shoot. Or the right stick to control him and shoot by clicking it in. I, I apologise about this Wolf Morbius. So I know it's probably very frustrating. I know it only pops up for a second, but it, is, it does take you out of the video, doesn't it? I am sorry. I have tried to fix the problem, but you know, I'll try something else. I just can't keep spending money on YouTube, you know? It's not like I'm a big channel. There we go. Alright, I, I guess I'll kill you now. I don't, I don't think we need you anymore. Okay, I don't think I don't think we're just going to be able to go through that door. I swear we have to fight someone, or maybe it's once we pull the lever we have to fight. Oh, don't want to forget them. Oh, none of them had stardust anyway, relic dust, whatever. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, here we go. Fuck it, do it. I do feel like your uh, shuriken doesn't do much damage. Like even if I charge it, I have to uh, I have to throw it twice. Whereas with Quill, if I charge up her blade, she'll kill him in one. Or if I uh, hit them three times with her sword, they die. I think. I feel like I have to hit them like five times with your oh shit with your shuriken. There you go. Look, I just saved your life, so that should be enough reason for you to like me now. I bet, I bet she won't let me stroke her. Right, see if I can get that trophy. I think I missed. I don't think I hit all three then. Oh, here we go. Just remember, you can only hit the little bug thing. So it's best to grab them so that you can make them aim the right way so you can smack the little bug. Oh, I don't know what that's for. Can I stroke you? Oh, no. Can I look at you now? Hello? Oh! Oh! <laughs> she shunned me! <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. What's that all about? Come on. Okay, I don't think there's anything around this bit. Oh, my wrist is buzzing. Alright, uh... Do I want to end it here? Is this a good place to end it? Yeah, I guess this is a good place to end it. If you guys or girls need to know how to get through this bit, because this bit can Sahira be... I was shocked to find the arcane hex on the castle door gone. Maybe this quill champion is leading a resistance, she thought. 
Sahima needed to find her and figure it out. Well, yeah, the hex has gone on the door because Quill defeated the Keeper. So really, it's a good job we did that, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get through the door, would you? You'd be screwed. <laughs> there'd, be, there'd be no point controlling you at all. But yeah, if you need help with this bit, because it can be a little bit fiddly, this bit, if you've never played the game before, uh, I'll be doing it in the next video, which might be uploaded today, might be uploaded tomorrow. It depends. We'll have to see. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf. Well, let's hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, apologies for the error messages that pop up. I'll have a quick fiddle around with the uh, light boxes again, see if I can make it a bit better. And uh, then I'll start recording the next video, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. But it'll probably happen in every video, especially when I have to look up higher somewhere. So, sorry about that, but it is what it is, isn't it? But yeah. Like, share, and join the pack today.